small word is to me like it's a simple, simple child's prayer to respect each other and to and to learn to love each other. That's what it's what we're saying without saying those words. And it's a very special, dear song to me. We were not trying to do a, a masterwork when we were doing it's a Small World. We were trying to do a very con simply constructed counterpoint so that two melodies could be sung at the same time. And the, it's a small world, after all, part would sing against it's a world of laughter, a world of tears. They would work together. And so we were working on a, a puzzle to get this whole thing and making it simple. Because Walt's wor words to us was, I want it so it's, it can be translated into many languages. I laugh because of the fact that it was written as a ballad. It was not written in this jingly up-tempo. And uh, as the ballad, it's a very pretty kind of a heartfelt song. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. But when you play it up tempo like that and you hear it for 10 minutes, you know, going through your head, you can't get it out of your head, I know. Walt listened to it and said, yeah, that'll work. Come with me. That was his compliment. Compliment of all was, that'll work. And so we went with him down to play it for the Imagineers. And that's when uh, we said, well, if this little ditty, you know, gets a record or something, we'll just donate it to the UNICEF. I never dreamed it would be the biggest copyright I'll ever write or ever did write, and it was just amazing. I think it's the, the simple quality of it and the repetition. It's very simple to sing. It's within a range for anybody to sing, and it says something very nice. You know, we all share these same things, and so let's learn to live together. The after all is the key line to the whole thing. It's a small world after all. <laughs>